Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to our Immortal Empires preview let's play as we continue with Drawing from turn 100. So last episode we had some problems out west and we're going to continue to have those problems. Black Fortress is probably doomed. If our general here, uh, Fan Ming I guess, I will pronounce it backwards for the last name first. If they held out, we'll give them a name because it seems quite impossible. We have a very powerful Skaven army. We have a very powerful, we have two very powerful Greenskin armies. So, probably destined to be defeated. We're pulling out defensive armies to support this area. We're probably gonna fall back to Pig Barter. Uh, it's not built up yet, unfortunately, but uh, we're gonna rush that. They're also trying to hold out over here. That's just gonna be defensive hold for a bit. If the army heals up, we could try to take on the Skavens over here, but that's probably a way down. Elsewhere, we're doing well. We're making pushes over here, we're making pushes in the north, we're probably going to end Village's faction and trigger our endgame condition once we take the eastern step. That will hit, give us 70 counties, I believe, and also the defeat of the Puppets of Misrule. So we'll look forward to that. For now, we just have to end turn and pray for the people of Black Fortress. The good news is only the Greenskin can take the fight. And here they are. And of course, everyone's gonna come in. We're gonna do a smaller army because the garrison really doesn't help us. And they are going to overwhelm us. Oh, Azhog left. Okay, that's slightly good news. I really hate this Regiment of Renown spam by the AI. I mean, only because we're Cathay and we have only two of these units. Look how many they have. Oh, Azhog's still here. Never mind. Four stacks. This is going to be fun. But yeah, they just have endless Regiment of Renown since they're an older race with lots of DLCs and patches. They have siege weapons. Okay, they're actually not split up too much. There's a small group over here. Grimgor himself's leading that. I'm not gambling on Winds of Magic with two siege towers. This one's just a night goblin. This one's big. Um, okay. You see underneath the siege tower? You can do that? That means we have to defend this wall with our infantry. Um, I guess we'll put our premium guys over here. They can only land here, here, or here. And we have to provide them a range unit. I want to snipe the Lord as much as possible. I actually don't know if this will block their vision, because that looks like it's going to block their vision. So we'll just take a crossbowman, give them the bonuses. Do I need a unit here? I don't think so. I think they're going to land here and here. And that's all we're going to do for them. They're going to get killed eventually by Grim Gord for sure. But we can only hope to do as much as possible. We might put a unit on that side. Just to activate this. Or maybe a cheap unit then. These towers can probably shoot some from the side. Okay, so this side's covered. 
We're not going to worry too much about the reinforcements. Because it feels kind of endless. There's their siege weapons. If we... put our cannons out, maybe we can kill it? Hmm. I don't know how to use our cannons, actually. Maybe just down this hallway? Because this is our final flag. So I guess we can put our cannons over here. We just want to activate these towers. We don't want to overcommit. Wait, how is this unit not in harmony? That little distance? I guess the center is being calculated? I mean, we're activating this. This is fine. I'm going to... Code them as eight, so we know these four on this side. We are flying. We could go risk ourselves to take out their siege weapon. Especially after their units start moving. I think we want to keep this one on as well. Maybe we do something like this. Move them here. I figure they can shoot through that gap. So the thing with these infantry is that they're the only two infantry we have left, and they have to be over here. Like, they have to guard this base. I mean, they could definitely come from different angles, too. But I don't think we have the luxury to guard that many angles. Like, this is pretty much it. That tower can wait. This is probably the first tower we should put out. It should do some damage as they approach. Okay, we probably also want to activate this one. They're used, they're used. Alright, we're gonna to have to grab a full health one. I mean, this one's probably not needed. This one, however... Okay, the rest of them are on the walls. Is if we get attacked from another angle, 
like this angle. It's gonna be ugly. <laughs> we'll worry about that later. We just have to hope the towers do as much as you can. So be it. Leading the way. At once. They're kind of tracking face. us. Immediately. Uh, maybe we don't dive. They're gonna break that fort wall. It's okay, it's expected. Of course. They must fall. In harmony. I if we can just per oh, it went down. We kind of failed our mission, but we can sort of stop another one from falling. So that's still a win, I guess. We're gonna fly up. They have another siege engine. Oh no, that's a spell. I mean, they also have trolls, so they can just break gates. We're just trying to do as much as we can with what we have. Okay, at least they're knocked out. In the Emperor's name. Eradicate them. Master of the winds. I mean, I don't think we need to dive down. I think we can even go back. Yep. He's got on top from the siege tower. They're on top from the siege tower. And we're just gonna hold off. Start running back towards this group. Whoa! What a summon. A spell cast on top. Seeking opportunity. Comes the Skavens. No! I will not tolerate this loss. So be it. We can try to take out that catapult as well. Might not work. My chosen place. All right, we're just going to fly back. Never conquered with infinite pride. Jade crossbow. At this point, kind of important too. Crossbowmen, guided by ancestors. Our garrisons here, they can help shore up this side's defense. Why 
Why are they moving so slowly? It's a very wide hallway for us to protect. We can only protect this with range units. Can't offer too much else. I'm not going to move those. Wind and fire. Yep. Try to shoot them out. The point is lost, and with it, harmony. Gotta be a combination of tower and just... Are they not shooting them? Uh, is it the, is it the little way. docket bug still? Where they can't shoot when they're on the docket? I'm gonna have to tank the damage. Fire. Fire. Fire in the blood. the Emperor. Fire. We are What are you doing? What? It is fated. Seeking Cathay's foe. Um getting cast all sorts of spells on me. I have the mask. Get out, get out, get out. At once. The celestial faithful. Warrior crossbows. With joy. Guided by ancestors. Bringing harmony. Leading the way. Descendant of dragons. Dragons, hear my prayer. Come on, more garrisons would be nice. We have plenty of units that routed. I don't understand why garrison's not coming out. We must reclaim it in the Emperor's name. Wait. They rallied here? I mean sure. Waste a bit of their time. want this one, but I don't think we have the funding for it. Gonna have to go cheap. Order and harmony. Harmonious wrath. <laughs> Get our own target. We got the doom wheels. Got the trolls. Yeah, she never had a chance. Well, they took a weird path here. Actually... Should have been more active using these. As a 
Formation! Overwhelmed! Beware the day crossbow! Move as wind! Bring in harmony! Bring in harmony! Alright, we're stuck here in our little corner. Oh, they got us. The flying one got us. Azag. Yep. We tried. Good effort. He survived the whole ordeal. So basically the four armies that went out to the Black Fortress all got destroyed. I think maybe if we chase Grimgore after that very first fight where we overpowered him 4 to 1 and just wiped out this army, maybe it'd be better. But they're clearly just dumping Regiment Renown over and over again, their armies. Well, we removed all the items, so not too bad. They didn't lose much. We just need two more turns. Maybe three more turns, actually. The army, two more turns to finish recruiting, but then we gotta move up. Our caravan actually made it. Can't say the same for the future. Our, our bastion threat is high, it's not a problem. Alrighty, so let's talk about the good things. The Lich's faction is going to be doomed. They might come out and fight us, but we're going to siege them here. In Father's name, beyond your comprehension. I will go. Okay, they're recruiting someone here. Alchemist of they will never expect me. Hmm, a lot of high percentage failures. Alchemist of no alternative. That one I can understand. I concur. Dragon blooded Shugunga. We are four points, so both the army and the agent inside were in lords. We probably have to summon. I'm thinking about where we want to summon that army. I mean, the problem with this area is just we don't have the recruitment slots for it. If I go down here, there's just no military building, but I guess at least it's still closer, maybe even here, to where we need our armies. Asgog's still moving, Fortress of Warag. We could abandon this, this is not essential to us. Even Bitter Bay is kind of excessive. 
Ruins Ends is where we actually want to defend. We're going to pull back. We'll leave this alone. There's no landmark for us here. We could even trade it to the Tomb Kings, actually. Are they fighting them? Maybe that is the price. They don't want it. What a wise queen. Which one's going to be cheap? Let's be real here. How about the Skavens? 31. Hmm. All right, baby steps. Azrae. Bakishlev. So I can't just gift it away. I guess he'll stall them for a turn as we get another army up here. She's ready to go. We can't recruit agent here, but we can recruit agent here. We have no global that she can use, so this is going to be really slow. We can only have four foreign units. I don't think we need to overinvest. I think we just grab some frontline units. Hmm. Maybe a couple cavalry. There's just not enough global recruitment. We're trying to recruit too many things. I could transfer over two units and get two more foreign units in this army. That's probably what we will do. Give them a couple of Jade Warriors. Or maybe give them a couple of Archers, actually. They're missing range units. Alright, we're just going to have to scrap in the, in the west. And then this will be a pretty easy win over here and here. Take this out. Claim that with the Lord. They started to recruit, but that's still a joke army. These garrisons are small and these victories are easy. It's in ruins. Wherever Cathay needs me, dragon blooded Shugunga. It is my we'll meet a Titan's Notch and then we'll just trade that over. He's ready fighting everyone we're fighting over there, so. He has no money? Oh, 
he has money. I was like, does he not have money? There's no auto balance option. Oh, come on, 75? We're literally building your empire for you. You need me? Not really. And no one has missions for us. It's strange. Like, Gold Tooth should have missions for us. We're fighting the common enemies. He should be asking us to target them. I mean, they still have to go down, then twist up. It'd be like at least a two-turn thing. We have two armies here. If they split up, it'll be better. I don't know what Goldtooth is doing. I'm not going to give him orders because he's pretty busy too. There is merit in this. What about this location, though? It would complete it for them, the Bone Road. Maybe we go this way. I don't think they need help. There was that stack that killed Million, but who knows where that stack is. That's their faction. I'm debating pumping out two more armies in the back just to get them in the pipeline. There's no recruitment buildings here. But there's full set here that we can use. And it's relatively close. We can use the... Oh, we can't get into this water. We have to walk this way. It's kind of long. Hmm. This is underdeveloped because we got it so late. I guess it's better to just hopefully they can defend it themselves. No really other way about it. Yeah, they're on their own. Alright, so that's all done. We have, I think, a three-pointer coming up. Three-point young. So we can summon another lord. I actually think Melian's coming back next turn. No, two turns. Oh. Hmm. She's a replacement summon. This is where Melian's going to pop out. So... We might go in instead. Cathay must never stand still. Astromancer of Grand Cathay. Gonna send you guys down here. Plenty of Skavens to kill. We'll meet a Firemouth. Right, so this is lost. Alchemist of the House of Secrets. It shall be a crippling assault. Not with my tail. Alright, at least these are going well. Lord On guard. An 
upper hand, indeed. We finish a caravan. Well, our ogre ally is actually not paying much, so I'm not going to recruit another one. This is our empire ally, giving us empire points. You. Every path is dangerous. This one might be less so, because we're going through the mountain area that I'm actually clearing. Let's give Frozen Landing a try. All right, upgrade complete here. I'm not sure we're keeping this, so I'm not going to upgrade it anymore. Kind of out of money. I think that's pretty much all we can do. We're waiting for our new recruits to pick it up. And we have one army left to defend. Let's go! They're piling it down, which is good. That fortress and hopefully Bitter Bay will be kind of a delay mechanism till we get our army back. Looks like the Greenskins backed off as well. Why do I care about this ambush? Alright, this is the warband threat. It hit 100%, or it's gonna hit 100%. That's actually a pretty sizable compared to what I'm used to before. We'll let the siege take care of itself? I mean, the second we win the siege, he dies, so I feel like we're wasting time on that one. Ah, uh, this is why all these land are raised over and over again, huh? Denied. They get these full stacks of hordes. Guess this is no rush. I guess the hordes are more important for us to fight off. Of the eight wins. Two on two? We're injured. Lord reporting. A step too far. What's the quality? Give us a little info. Okay, garbage quality. I mean, we have a mammoth, but overall garbage quality. Similar army com. This one's slightly better. Guess we have to fight it. It shall please the dragons. Witness their demand. Right, we're not favored here. But I think we'll be fine. Do we want it all on the field spread out, or do we want to fight them one group at a time, filter in? Hmm. Let's fight them one at a time. I like this army. I like to keep the fight small. We like to be compact. The more compact we are, the stronger we are.
we can finally do some insert mode firing with our sky junk. We haven't had a sky junk all game. Looks like three range units. So not much. Okay, we're going to back off to our little corner. We're on the low ground. Not good for cannons. But I think we'll... Hmm, yeah, really not good for cannons. It's better if we fight here. On this bump where the cannons can go. Or even like on this ridge, which is what we kind of did before. They can kind of free fire from this angle and we don't have to put units in front of them to risk them getting shot by friendly fire. Kind of like that actually. So if we're going to modify one thing, we're going to make this like a hard edge. Where I don't expect any... I'm not going to put any more units. I'm not going to put units on both sides. I think that was a mistake. Kind of hard for us to cover both sides as well. That's what I'm going to control. Ah, long time no first person. Fire! They did change the reload time, so you can't cheese the reload. Needs to be a little bit longer distance. Perfect. Now a bit lower. Ah, uh, maybe a little too low. I wonder if they fixed the ammo count situation. Well, this reload time is actually super long. Uh, our crane gunners are firing. I can spin it this way and actually get the crane gunners to do stuff. The mammoth is not my job, is it? Uh oh, maybe it is my job. Hold on. It's charging. I can't shoot it now. It's dying quick. Okay, we're gonna exit out to do our army summon. We can also go drop our bomb. A little this way. The front line's fine. It is 
There we go. Alright, I'm gonna swing out to this side so I got a good view on the front line. We can pound them here. Oh, they did buff the cooldown time on that, because that was forever before. And we just got turn, 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 and this is where we get the money shots. Right on that front line. I wonder if I can do a swing shot. No, not really. It's not when you... It's not the duration of the fire. Ooh, here comes a mammoth. Alright, mammoth is my job. They got reinforcements. We're ready. This is a good angle for us. They just don't have enough range to punish me. Alright, pile up, pile up. Perfect. That's the moment. Oh, they took out... They actually haven't... Wait, did they focus fire me? I mean, we couldn't see the health when we were in that mode. There goes our sky junk. Ooh, what? Alright, I'm here too. I actually have spells. This side's fine, they'll hold. My poor sky junk. Four turn recruitment. It's okay, this army probably doesn't need one. Fukuda is here with his. Repeating crossbow. Of course. This way. You can charge that real quick. Stone and steel. I mean, they're going to be sending more and more streaming in, so will we? Oya Ying is here. Is this infinite? Just cool down? Hmm. Chase them out first. Yeah, now they are just going to filter units in, which is much more manageable for us. He's gonna die before he gets here. Let's try to use it. Ah, it's just a spray of arrows. Alright, my love, your turn. Your spells are better. They're trying to gather up with their reinforcements. <laughs> Look at that dodge. We gotta wait till they collide with our line, I guess. Or when they don't have really a lot of space to dodge. Oh, wow, they're fast.
At once! I shake the winds! A trail of secrets. Hmm, this side's gonna get pressured. Stone and steel. We could flip them a little. Got a piece of him at least. Descendant of dragons. Crossbowmen. Order and harmony. Eight twins to me. There we go. Warriors. Mine as one. No, I clicked the wrong guy. Repositioning. Bathed in celestial light. Alchemist repositioning. All right, we can use your spell over here. Hard to get it out of the formation. So be it. Ready as always. Master of the winds. They're out of ammo. Oh, they're out of ammo too. Guided by ancestors. Shogun Gun Sorcerer. Dragon, hear my prayer. Retreat with gold. Setting out. I'm going to retreat these so we can maybe call some of the other reinforcements over. Might have friendly fired a little bit there. This is gonna crack. I will go. All right, we got some help coming. Master of Azir, a clear course. Retreat, withdraw. Seeking opportunity. I shape the winds. Gosh, the formation attack is thick. Move in formation. Eight winds. To me! I and Lincoln are ready. Oh, they got a big guy coming. Two big guys coming. We're here. Sent by Reinforcements here. Jiang Wei is here. Jiang Wei will huff and puff and blow all the bad guys away. Army loss. Oh, thank God the big guy didn't get here. Army loss him. Oh, that was close. Those those two would have been a little bit hard to kill. That should be all. They will send more reinforcement, but once it comes out, it will be um, army loss instantly. I mean, basically one of our army fought two, ran out of ammo, and did our best. Took a lot of casualties, but... I think that's worth.
Bit of a shame we did lose our Sky Drunk. It just takes so long to recruit one. But I guess army of their quality probably doesn't need one. Alright, and that is going to help drop our threat level. We'll continue to chase the other two army down, but we're going to end our episode here. This is another problem. It's going to be the same quality army, so Drugodown's army, which is largely unharmed, will lead the way to clear out the rest. Then, this will just be a slow siege, I think. I'm not sure how we approach this fight. We are attritioning. But this does not look good. Retribution is not so we'll see. Like, I was hoping they would take this and then just go help, but now with the warbands, that might not be possible. Maybe Jugendown should just keep going. We'll delegate against this, and. I mean, the front line's badly hurt. If anything, it should be like a peasant spam to fix this. It's a two-turn peasant spam because of the climate issues. I think we stick together and clean this out first. The Dragon Gate. I mean, they have good garrisons. The Turtle Gate even have good garrisons. I think we can probably hold them. And this army's ready in one turn, so... Maybe they can move and go help the Blood Wind Keep in the next two turns. We do have to finish these off. So this should be okay. Oh, someone colonized for us? That's so lovely. We don't have to colonize that. They will continue their push. Which, actually, let's use this as our save point. At least this front is going really, really well. Because there's no resistance whatsoever. And I don't know where they can reach. No, we can't reach Firemouth. So we're going to get closer and we'll take it out. We'll trade it to Goldtooth. We're just trying to grow him to a size where he can be a snake and... Uh, snick, eh, he's not a significant force. He got one of our fire rain, but... The problem with his army, you can see its quality is really bad. Like, who is he beating with this? Nobody. Where are the Stonehorn spam that we've seen before from Realm of Chaos? Like, seven Stonehorn. That was impressive army. This is nothing. So we're just going to have to hopefully keep giving him land and make him significant. I don't want these land anyways. I'm perfectly content to just have Cathay. And we'll go from here. So, until next time. Bye!